Hello, good afternoon. How are you doing? Hope you're doing pretty, pretty well. Yeah, life is treating you very, very nicely. Okay. I'm very excited because today we've been talking a, uh, a little bit different, right? We've been talking about the computer concept, how computer, how internet work, and uh, some basic understanding of how com uh, computer programming uh, structures, how to learn it, okay? And probably also watch the video about the uh, Sony Pi, how to use the uh, coding uh, command to control the music, as well as the JavaScript kind of uh, on, uh, web programming to draw something, right? Now we have a uh, totally different uh, programming language, but still very, very powerful, also easy to learn, okay? So what's our superstar today? Yeah, da -da. the superstar today is, ah, uh, <laughs> Okay, he's a little bit shy. P Y T H O N. Python, Python programming language. So what is why is this so? I call it a superstar because uh, this language so popular uh, in recent recent years. So if you search Python, you got tons of information and. Maybe Chinese, maybe English, uh, online tutorial, YouTube. So I'm. I don't worry uh, if you cannot find uh, the right material. But this class, I want you to introduce the basic understanding, the structure, and maybe we can test in a very very traditional way. Okay, some secret of my personal learning. Okay. Okay, if you Google Python and look at the, 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 for example, look at some screen. Let me try Python, Google Python, okay. Uh, you look at the picture. Of course, you will see the programming language, the logo, the Python, as well as some ah, a terrible, little bit like a snake, big snake, right? Yeah, indeed, if you uh, go to the bookstore, if you browse some Python language, even some people uh, use this as a cover, okay, like this one, right? Uh, is this the Python language uh, language that the snake talk about? <laughs> okay, yeah, actually it's a programming language, we know that. But where, where does this word Python from, okay? And actually, it's from a uh, uh, invented by a person. Uh, his name is uh, I. I cannot remember how to pronounce it. Uh, maybe let's look at the wiki. Okay, look at wiki. Yeah, wiki. Okay. Yeah, this is a Chinese edition. Let me switch to English edition. <coughs> and hmm, I recommend you use a simple version of the wiki. Okay, here you go. Python is an open source programming language. It is easy to read, uh, easy to understand, and it's still very powerful. And Dutch, a Dutch programmer named uh, sorry, it's uh, Dutch, so <laughs> uh, I try to pronounce it. Hijo van Vosum, okay? <laughs> I hope I get it all right, okay? <laughs> if you are uh, a Dutch uh, people, please, uh, please forgive me, uh, bad, mis bad pronunciation. But this guy, awesome. Uh, this guy, okay, he invented Python uh, that make it also very famous. But the, actually, he got the idea uh, 
of the word of the word Python from one of his favorite TV program called the Monty Python Flying Circus. Uh, this one is actually a comedian troupe, a group of comedian, uh, five people, pretty famous, pretty brilliant, intelligent. They they make a show to make fun of some uh, comedian things. Okay, so it is so popular in that uh, in that uh, age. Uh, so <laughs> so this is why. Uh, the Hido, uh, Van Vossum, uh then after it, okay, use this word Python as a programming language, okay. So that is a little, a little bit history about the Python. It is not just not actually from a snake a name, okay. And we know the Python is a interpreter, interpreted language, not a compile. So kind of. Uh, friendly to use and uh, maybe throw you some error message if you may, may run in the syntax. Okay, the environment will translate from the high level to low level machine language. Okay, as we know, and Python is very very popular. Uh, they got a lot of inspiration from advanced uh, programming language like C, C++, Java. Uh, some from the structural procedure and object oriented. Mm, so they kind of borrow some good feature from uh, different programming language, okay, and also make it easy to learn, okay, which is pretty, pretty good. And they have a lot of Library. Okay, so what is library? We talk about previous libraries. It's a, a, a bunch of the uh, people, uh, not the people. A bunch of the code is already developed, mature, uh, mostly bug free, and they provide uh, other people uh, to call to reuse those. Uh, Program module, uh, so that you can treat it as a black box. Okay, you, should, you may say, "Oh, that's a function call." Yes, library is a is a lot of function. Okay, they may put into in uh, some repository, some some we call a library place. Okay, so that's a library. So why why Python is so popular? Okay, so you can browse, easy to use, easy to learn. A lot of good uh, experience community to continue supporting uh, this, and a lot of people a different framework. Okay, uh, you after you later on we we sh I will show you, I will show you how to install, how to use the command, most uh, simple one, uh, simplest one, and. Maybe uh, you may say, "Oh, I can use some web like a collab uh, or some other web-based learning." Okay, actually, there are many, many different ways to run and study Python. Okay, this class we basically uh, follow two way. Okay, the one is the interactive mode. Okay, we kind of interact to converse with the Python interpreter inside the software. Okay, which is weird. Then why do I want to do this? And what do I want you to do this? Because this is a very, very good way to actually explore some new features, single command. Okay, another way, of course, you will need the editor. Editor, editor is a software you can type the your source code. Um, normally, pure text. Uh, you will save it as a TXT. But Python have its a uh, have its uh, uh, preference name. Uh, it's a dot .py. Okay. So uh, a little bit facts about Python just for you. Okay, you can go to the official website. Uh, the inventor is the Hido Hido Van Valsam. Okay, uh, it's been uh, has been developed for more than thirty one years. Okay. Okay, still so popular. A lot of different platform can run on Python. Uh, the file extension, normally .py, but they are still uh, different variants. Okay. 
So enough, enough uh, introduction. Let's move on to how to install the Python. Okay. So, so how do we do this? Normally, uh, Google, right? So Google, Python. And then the first page you are going to visit is the python.org. This is the official web address, okay? And you can from here see some documentation. Normally people just go to the download, okay? And find the right operating system because uh, we know different operating system. Uh, they're, uh, they, they run a little bit differently. Right, and so you. I'm a Mac user, so I need to use install the Mac OS. Most of you maybe Windows, so you just switch to Windows. Okay, download the latest version. Latest version is three point eleven point zero, the latest the stable version. Okay, so now I'm going to download Mac Mac OS. Okay, you just hit the download, and then. Of course, you show the folder, okay? Kind of running, running the folder. Okay, uh, because I will, I will install it already. So this shows the message I've installed. Uh, uh, but if you are the first time you uh, haven't installed, be sure to just uh, click on, click on next, next, next until. Uh, the software is uh, where uh, installed into your hard drive. Okay. So after you install uh, it, uh, you can do two things: find location of the Python. Okay. Uh, where am I install the Python in my Mac operating system? That would be in the application.